from the Trope University, uh, all the way from Melbourne, uh, where um, she specialises in art history. She spent the last 12 years researching Mendian art and ritual practices. Thank you. And I think when you have a look at Johanna's work here, you look at each script and it each has its own identity, as the figures do in the Mandane scrolls. Um, looking at his work, particularly here, which is the most recent work of Johannes, I see he's taken it from the Mandate script, but it's made it into something, his own artistic expression. And I think there's a beautiful um, strength in each image. And I think as you walk through and have a look at each image, you see the starting point is the Mandate script, but then it becomes something quite different. It's something, it's an expression of an artist, but it's expression of his own journal, internal journey in his quest in art. And I mean, we go right down to the very beginning with his, some of the earlier work um, of Johanna. And then you come, and there's some beautiful colours, and in speaking to some of the people here, some of those paintings have very special meanings to them um, and it's the colour and it's the form and it's the angelic beings that I think all these um, that Mandaeans without sometimes consciously and sometimes consciously um, give thanks to for the good times and for good things and these are the good influences in the Mandate religion there's always a struggle between the good and the bad but I think um, in Johanna's work, we see that struggle, but we see the good um, rising. There's a, one of the most important things in Mandaean art is the figurative elements, the drapsha, which is the Mandaean symbol of light um, and glory and radiance. And the other is plants. Mandaean art is full of plants. And I think this is, we can see this in Johanna's Sindaka, uh, one of his paintings down there. Um, you can see a few of those. And Sadaka, to I mean, I haven't been to Iraq, I've been to Iran, but I know how important the date palm is. And this is also a very important religious symbol in the Mandan art. And in one scroll, it's used, it has seven identifications. It's not just a palm tree. Each palm tree has its own symbolic meaning. And symbolism is, is the core of the Mandan art. And I think if you look at Johanna's work, you see that symbolism. I think it's very profound. And it's up to you, looking at this art, to interpret for yourself. But I think the starting point is a beautiful script. Here we've got the meeting. I mean, Johanna went to China, and he's used the Chinese ink and the Chinese brushes. So we've got East meets Middle East <laughs> meets Australia. <laughs> All coming together. And I think you see the strength in the new beginning in Australia and you see the freedom that perhaps is here that wasn't in the past so much and there's a liberty but there's a respect for the old and that's the language which holds the core of the Mandate um, religion and I think stepping stones of life. Um, and I think if you go through each one, it's very different. And Johanna talks about, you know, Ziwa, which is light. And I noticed in the, in the poetry, he kept saying Ziwa, Ziwa, the radiant light. But always remember too that in the Mandaean scriptures, light is also male and female. And this is one of the wonderful elements in Mandaean art and the scriptures, that there's male and female. Because without the two, life does not exist. <laughs> so it's a very important... And it's, there's elements of that in Johanna's work. Back to the third century in the Middle East. So we're looking at a form that's at least 1,700 years old and it's something that I think has a beauty because it, it talks about male and female but it doesn't... The two are together, the two are... And there's no sexuality, they're, they're, they're beings. And the beings in the scrolls are beings of a light world. It's an ideal. So I would like you to go and look at his work deeply and look for that, the hidden soul in his work, which I think is there. And I think particularly in this last lot of work, he's really...
captured that so beautifully and succinctly and very respectfully and I think he should be proud of this beautiful work of art. As many of you may know, last year Yohanna was in Iraq and Iran undertaking cultural preservation programs and works. When he was in Iran, he met a, a gentleman who's one of the last people to, to sing and write poetry in uh, Mendaic. Uh, his name is Mr. Assad Asghari. I'm going to ask you to uh, turn your attention to the screen where we're going to watch a short film which uh, Johanna um, filmed last year of, uh, of Mr. Assad um, when he was in Iran. انا ما لقوا انا ما لقوا الما سبالك اخنا يا بخينا بس مرنا يا ايبر زيوا يا ملك ايبر زيوا هو يبدلن شبيرا انا ما لقوا الما انا ما لقوا یا پروکم پر قاتلن یا پروشم پر شاتلن یا یدویم یادیاتن یا عزیزا عزیزدن اواد ام پر قاتلن و ام پر شاتلن مرحمان اخم رحمتن انا ما لما الما انا ما لقوا الما انا ما لما الما مسيبالا جهخنا يا بخينا بس مرنا يا ايبل زيوا يا ملك ايبل زيوا هو يمدنا نشبينا أنا ما لما ألما أنا ما لقى مرورة بن هورة شانية قد ميت قامت بزيوة دمفاش اهزيت 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 بزيوة دنفش وبنورة اصا خالت لي كاث البش اصطن الزيوة ونهورة مرمي الكتفي آه يا 
وتراس البريشي وتراس الكل شربتا دار شو دار شي وأثري الواثي والنلدي بسمق القاني ومردد وميقام شاخوي من شنتي ومار لون قوم شاخوي دشخيوي قوم اخشيلي ادئي تكدال قوم اسغدوا شب الهي وشب دموت دهي تبيرة وبنهورة وشانية ومشبين هي خوب بس تردي انتي من من العربي من الفارسي مالك تردي امرأة لبيتك مو قاموا لا شوقا ترقدا قاموا لا شوقا ترقدا ماري لوفاق سيب رقدا ماري لوفاق سيب رقدا براتيكا جنزا هلايا براتيكا جنزا هلايا إنانا كلا ملاي إنانا كلا ملاي مرتلا ماري قبينك مرتلا ماري قبينك أمر الله كيفي قو إنا قام لا أخسبا ترقدا أمر الله كيفي قو إنا قاموا لخسبا ترقدا قاموا لا شوقا ترقدا ماري لا وقسب رقدا ماري لا وقسو رقدا دريت الإيدا دريت الإيدا وهدارتا دريت الإيدا وهدارتا طرتا ومنا طرتا أمر الله سيب مقارة أمر الله سيب مقارة دري شخ أنا مقبانا قام لخسبا ترقدا دري شخ أنا مقبانا قام لخسبا ترقدا قام لا شوقا ترقدا قاموا لا سوقا ترقدوا قاموا لا سيبا ترقدوا ماري لوبق شوقي